Hello, today I'm going to be playing Brawler. First of all, I'd like you to leave a comment on this video about how my mic sounds. Uh, if you've watched a couple of my other videos, you know I've had a lot of issues with my mic. But for especially if you're new and you haven't been on the channel, how does my mic sound? Is it good, bad? What can be improved? Thank you for the feedback. But today, I'm going to be talking about the legends which require the most spacing in Brawlhalla. Spacing is a video game term which refers to uh, how much... Uh, how important it is to keep the range between your opponent and how spacing your moves, so how far away you are when you land them, is important. See, bow and guns are two weapons with extremely long ranges, but a lot of their moves you want to be hitting right at the end of it. Like right at the end, especially on guns, which has a dead zone. So, you are uh, required to space properly, or you get punished for it. See, with guns, there's a in between me and my opponent, there is a zone where there is no hitbox. Meaning that if they are too close to me and I don't space properly, my move doesn't even hit them. So, guns require a lot of spacing compared to any other weapon in Brahala because of this. When throwing out a side light, I have to make sure they're at the right range, they can't be too near, and then I get to land it. But then in exchange for this, I get to have a lot more range than any other weapon, even bow. I have more range than bow does. Oh, I threw a recovery accidentally when I didn't have one there, and that is a big shame. But yeah, this is going to be dedicated on legends that you have to space with a lot. Because I think that spacing is one of the most important skills in any fighting game, let alone Brahalla. And keeping your distance can be very hard. We're playing against Ragnar, who has Katars, which are a weapon which try and get in on you. So it's kind of the opposite of space. Oh, I should have said that recovery. So, uh, didn't kill. But I have to keep my distance from my opponent to make sure that I can hit them and they can't hit me. And that is the aim of spacing. On bow, it's a bit different. You just have moves which hit near, but they also hit quite far. Especially moves like end light. If you can hit end light at its peak, no one can challenge that. But unlike guns there isn't really a dead zone with bows attacks and it has some close range attacks as well but spacing is still really important because if you're out of range of your opponent one it means it's harder for them to punish your whiff and two it means they can't even hit you so they can't even get near you but bow has better defensive options when it comes to when you are, when they do get in that space because guns really only has delight but bow you have end light which hits stacked and is really quick you see when i can just press end light here and i can get them off me and that's really good against a weapon like katars which is always trying to rush you down and you can get quite overwhelmed when playing guns but if you can keep your distance they're probably the best weapon i do think that guns is the hardest weapon to play uh, like spacing wise its combos are pretty simple and so are extremes but trying to space your opponent and keep them out of that zone as you guys know if you've ever played against a really good guns player you can't get in on them you can't get anywhere near them and that is, I think is what makes them uh, is what makes them so strong but mechanic mechanically guns don't really have much like going on, like a weapon like you don't really need many reads, you can kind of just rely on your true combos and good kill combos. Trying to keep your opponent out is really difficult, but in a game like Brahalla with so much movement, uh, it makes it a lot easier. Many characters in other games uh, which have long range weapons, they tend to be slow or really bad at close range or they have a big weakness. And Brahala's done a good way of uh, making spacing viable, but not giving them that big weakness. I'm going to play Ada, another character who relies on a lot of spacing. Spear is a bit different, because you do hit near you all the time, and you don't really have to space that well. But the thing with Spear is, if they're on top of you and you're on the ground, you don't have any options, like at all. Bow has end light, guns has D-light. Spear has nothing, because the end light doesn't hit stack, nor does side light. And D light doesn't hit ground either. Three, we'll come two, up against another Ada, one, and hopefully, we're gonna be able to outspace them as it makes And in a game like Brahala, stage control is quite important. 
because stage control determines when you die. Uh, but because if you're in the center stage, it's hard to kill you on the edge. So he's got the gun. So he, right now he's gonna want to keep me out. Okay. He's doing a good job about that. But now we both have guns. This becomes a really uh becomes a really awkward fight because. You're both trying to stay at the exact same range because you both have the same options. Ah, he got me there. Yeah, no recovery. Yeah, I think spacing is really fun. I think characters, are, I think becoming good at spacing is a very rewarding sort of thing. Because it can mean that you just do dominate your opponents because they just can't do anything. Because if someone can't even get near you, how are they going to hit you? See, I hit them. I hit them right at the peak of my side light there, and no other move in the game would have been able to catch me. So he didn't even have a chance to get me. And now it's got uh, Spears got end light, and uh, its main its main reason for when it's got a bit of a closer range you want to stay at, but you still do not want to let them get on top of you because it has no option to be when they uh, do get on top of you. Double D light now. So I could get it. Meant to pick up the weapon there to be honest. I made the dodge out and then I punished it. He only has dodge here, so I don't even need to touch got him. Nice, we made the comeback from that early stock. But yeah, I would really like some feedback for my mic because I've adjusted some settings. And I wanna know if it's too loud, too quiet. If anything's muffled, because I can listen it to myself on my computer, but it's not about how it's heard from my computer. It's about obviously how you guys are hearing it. Could have chased towards up there and gone for a nair, but I didn't want him to get the turn around. See, guns is really quick, so it's not really a heavy weapon, but it has the range of a heavy weapon. And you can kind of create a wall in front of you. Ooh, damn. And being able to pop that barrier and not let people in is really important. But you also have to keep stage control. And... Okay, a D like Ser should do it here. Actually, no, he's he's a bit too light. A side kick will do it though. Him in the down stick. Uh, this guy probably plays a bit of aid and knows how to... Counter six one. Oh, I whiffed that delay right there. The pogo. Oh, I die here, I think. No, I'm alive. Uh, I only have a dodge there. I went low. I think he's got this one in the bag. Oh, no. Did that recovery? Didn't drop it. Let's go. Now, I'm going to play the last one of the legends that I consider to be a great spacing legend and a great defensive legend as well, which is Kaya. Wherever she is. Kaya. I think Kaya is a great legend because look at the stats, right? I, you can take away from decks and go damage, which is a good option. And what I'm actually going to do. But I used to take away from speed and go defense. Because then it's really hard to kill you. But I think she has maybe my favorite stat spread in the game. Because I really do value speed and defense. Because I really like staying alive. And I think that you can kind of compensate for the other options. With damage, you just got to look for the... Instead of looking for the true combos, which might do 30 damage, you have to look for a read, which might do a bit more damage, but it's more risky. Okay. But yeah, uh, Kai's a bit different, because obviously, normally, most legends that want to space will have guns, but she doesn't. She just has two decently long-range weapons, which means you can still get ward out by guns. Which is one thing to know. Like, you have to space on Kaya, but if the enemy has guns, you will still get walled out if you play wrong. And this job, this guy's doing. See, now he's got guns. Now he can technically wall me out, so I have to be the aggressor and not him because he, I can't let him be at a range where he can hit me and I can't hit him. Grandpa? There we go. Wait for the dodge up. Ah, uh, too early. And light now. 
See, right, see, as you can see, he can just keep me out with his stairs and sidelights. Go low. Side lights there, okay. We look for the dashback recovery for the end dodge, but didn't get it. Damn, that's it caught me off the ground, which was a really smart decision for him to use there. And like So he still has three stocks, so he has the lead. And he has if he picks up guns, then I still have to aggress. Normally when when someone's at red, you can kind of play a bit more passive and just look for the one hit, you know, when they m mess up SIG. But if he can wall me out, then I can't do that. Okay. Oh, that bomb almost caught him because he dodged too early. That was a really good dodge from him, reading that I was going to do a dash D-Light. Okay. We found the SIG. And I'm in orange. I'm going to take Spear for this engagement because I prefer Spear v Scythe than Bow v Scythe. I think that the end light on, on Spear really helps playing against Scythe, but I still don't really like the matchup. Because they tend to do a lot of float. Ooh, damn, I couldn't drop through the platform, I got a call on it. That's really good from him. Now I have to push him hard because he has blasters. And as you can see, it's a really awkward matchup because if I get too close, then I can't hit him. And if, if I get too far, then I, I still can't hit him and he can hit me. So you have to sit in this middle right, middle ground. But Bo does quite well against guns because it's got enough range to kind of punish its long options. Like if you're out of range on a weapon like Katars, you might not even be able to get near enough to punish uh, guns. Because Bo has that good bit of range and you can. And Signa. Oh, I missed the dare again. I'm throwing this game. Okay, we got the nice little reversal. Gonna need a. I'm gonna need a. Ooh. Great unarmed play here, apparently, because he took the weapon. He can just deal out recover me. But. Oh, he's looking for the SIG. Should have waited a bit longer there. To... I feel like that end light should have connected. But it's fine. It's the GG. I think that was two wins, one loss. I think that's a good little, uh, good little three games to show you. Anyway, tell me about the mic. And if you like the video, subscribe. No, yeah, if you like the video, subscribe. And if you love the video, Join the Discord. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, and later.